What's up, guys? My name is Gaming here, and um, this is a collection of my Xbox One games that I have as of right now. Um, this is going to be my June. I'm pretty sure this probably will update, but I'm not sure. Depends on if I get any other games. Alright, let's start out. Now the first one, even though it's a digital game, I still wanted to show the little uh, thing I got. The uh, It was with the Xbox One. It came with it. It was the bundle. And that's the Division. And this game is pretty epic, honestly. Um, pretty good. I'd say, um, I haven't put enough time into this game, though, so I really need to get back to it. And then, uh, this is just some other, like, regular Xbox stuff. Um, def definitely recommend picking up this game if you don't own it. Um, it's probably, you could probably get it, um, it's probably not cheap still, yet, but, um, I can't remember how much it was at my local GameStop today, because I went there today to pick up a new game. So, that's pretty exciting. Um, alright, so, uh, the next game is Battlefield Hardline. Um, really good game. Uh, I think they did a really good job at going with the cops and robbers this time. Um, I wasn't, I, I am interested in Battlefield 4. Um, I don't actually own that right now, but, uh, I did own it on the, um, brand new on the Xbox 360, but, uh, as of now, I have an Xbox One, so, uh, over there. Um, so, uh. I had to be it. I had to kind of sell those games, and I kept one because it's an awesome game. I don't even care if I can't play it anymore. It was so hard to find that game. Um. Uh, actually, I can. I could probably still play it. Um, back in my nephew's room because it's where I gave. That's where the Xbox 360 is as of right now, and where it will be for the time being, probably forever, until he decides what he's gonna do with it. Um, this game was really good though. Um, I did play the story. I haven't finished it yet, but so far it's pretty good. I'm almost done. I have like two, two or three episodes left. And I just played an exciting one yesterday. I played one of the episodes and you had to, uh, get in a, you had to like fend off all these guys and you got to get in an AC-130 in the side of it where this gun was and you got to use the gun and shoot up all these other guys and while the other guy was uh, building, fixing the plane, you're trying to escape in and all that. It was a pretty fun mission. But um, they did a really good job of going with the cops and robbers theme instead of a military. Uh, it was about time for them to change it up. And the um, online is pretty sweet too. I've played that. I got a free DLC with that too. Um, this also had, even though it was a used copy. <sighs> It did have working codes, so that was pretty exciting. Um, I actually got this at a uh, not a GameStop, but a Games and Movies is what it was called. But um, all the DLC in this did work, so that was pretty exciting. So yeah, next is this game. I don't care what y'all think. I like this one. Um, Advanced Warfare was a really good one, I think. And it actually kind of is the Day Zero Edition, even though it's used. Um, the code did work again, so I've just gotten lucky. And um, this game is pretty awesome. I haven't started the story on this, but I hope to soon. It uh, looks like it's going to be really good. Uh, definitely because the uh, online is pretty freaking amazing. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like this because you're jumping... They don't, a lot of people don't like this because people are always jumping around and you can't ever shoot them because they're just jumping around everywhere having fun. Well, that's what I think is fun about it is jumping around, so that's just me. Um, next we have Destiny. Um, uh, this was kind of a, this was a good game, but I haven't, I haven't gotten back into it yet just because, I don't know, I mean, I really need to get the, uh, Taken King and all that, and honestly, at my local GameStop today, I saw it was like a used one, or even a brand new one was like maybe, I think it was either used or brand new, I can't remember, but it was like 10 bucks, and I could have got the Taken King, which would have been, um, honestly, pretty good, uh, expansion, 
Um, I would have rather honestly bought the Taken King um, and the um, other expansions because it would have been more worth it. And then I would have gotten um, this game and the expansions. But um, as of right now, I just have the game. Um, it's just the standalone game. I uh, just kind of got this used. Nothing else in it but the disc. But, um, disc was in good shape, and it was only, like, freaking three bucks at a thrift shop. So, I was like, you know what? First game. Get it. Did. Alright, um. Now, this. This one I just picked up today. So, I haven't gotten any time into it at all. I have no time into it. It is installing right now. Um. I will do another review of this game later, uh, a couple days from now, hopefully. And we're going, and I'm going to, um do that so but is Fallout 4 um, bought this brand new it actually wasn't $59.99 it was actually $29.99 um, brand new um, even though it wasn't it didn't have the seal wrap on it it was it is brand new so I also got Fallout 3 included for free so that was a pretty good deal right there I pretty I think um, even the uh, guys at the GameStop said that this game is really freaking good, that um, it'd be worth it, and that $30 for a new game is not a bad price, and especially for this deal, this was a pretty sweet deal that I got on this game, and I'm very happy with it. Um, everything looks pretty awesome about this. I hope, I really think I'm going to enjoy this game by a lot. Um, definitely going to put a lot of hours into this whenever I can, though. Um, actually have started downloading the third one and the uh, I've kind of on and off stopped them both because I really want to play one of them but they won't get done quick enough so um, hopefully I'll be able to do um, play, do some gameplay tomorrow on that uh, anyways I got this <clears throat> let me open this up alright everything is good let me just take out this uh, GameStop uh, It's just a little uh, GameStop, like, you know, receipt thing you get in it that they give you. Um, the disc is in the thing installing right now as we speak. And, yep, so that's pretty cool. Um, I did already do the code on the back of this, so I'm not even going to show you all it. It's no use because it's not even going to work for you. So don't even expect to try to steal a code. It's not going to work. Um, just tells you about warnings, tells you the basic controls, and, um, it's at least kind of cool that this game has kind of like a manual in a way. It's pretty cool. Most games these days, especially Xbox One Next Gen, they don't put manuals in there. That's the reason why m most new games you just get and there's just the disc and, like, if it's got DLC, that's basically all you're getting. Uh, also, you also get this, which is the poster. And then you get, you know, this isn't the season pass, and um, this is the, um, just like other stuff that it tells you, um, it tells you like, if you want to buy it, they always advertise this stuff, the season pass and all that. You get some good deals with that, uh, you can get Doom, probably not, I'm not even going to get that game, I don't like that series, just because I'm not, I'm kind of like, not the devil kind of, I don't like those kind of games, they kind of really scare me honestly, and I'm just not that kind of guy. Because he can get into your mind with games and, like, take over. So, that's why I don't play those kind of games. Um, you may be wondering, how did I get two of these? Well, honestly, I have no idea. I just was lucky. I got two, two of these. Um, so, I'm going to give this to my nephew. And it also has a code of Fallout 3 on the back. And it is definitely a different code I checked. It's a uh, new code. It's not the same. So, it's not like they just threw a copy one in there. Um, but... I don't think the, uh, I don't think they saw that this one was already in there, so they threw two in there, I guess. But um, if it doesn't work, I will be doing a giveaway. I'm not just gonna turn it over and hand you the code. You're gonna, I'm gonna, kind of do a giveaway for it. So, if uh, that's how it's gonna be, and if not, if he takes it and it works, then that's just how it's gonna be as well. So maybe you guys will get lucky and you actually get the code. But um, other than that, I mean, not much else to really say about this game. Um, cause I haven't really gotten any, uh, gameplay on it yet, but, um, I hope too soon, but, uh, yeah, oh, 
Come on. Uh, but looks like this game's gonna be pretty exciting. So that's good. That's a new game, so I'm gonna set it down gently. Rise, right, Son of Rome. Now this was a really good game. I was hyped for it even before it came out, even before I had an Xbox One. I kept watching so much gameplay on it and was just so excited to get this game. And now that I finally got it, I beat the game like in a couple days. That's how excited I was to play this game. It was a pretty good storyline. I wish they would have made it a little longer. I do hope they bring a Rise, Son of Rome 2 or a sequel to this game at least. Um, another good game that's coming out at the end of this year sometime is um, For Honor and it's similar to this game but you get to create you get to pick your own class viking knight samurai uh it looks like it's going to be pretty good and it looks similar to this game in the uh fighting aspect kind of way and all that um that looks like it's going to be pretty good um this game was really good though um the graphics were amazing showed um how the uh xbox could do when it first came out especially it even still looks great to this day um, I'm, I'm also gonna, um, I don't think I'll get bored of this game ever because the story was pretty exciting, so I could just go back and play a story mission if I want to play this again. Or there's a gladiator mode, which is really good, even though no one plays online anymore. Um, still a pretty good game mode. I play just by myself sometimes just because I want to fight some soldiers. Doesn't bother me. Um, another game that came with the Xbox, um, I actually got a really good deal on it too, um, it was like, the, it's the limited edition. Um, I don't, this has a lot of stuff in here, so probably not even going to show all the stuff in here. I'm just going to show the uh, the uh, basic case thing like this, but um, I will show the the uh, actually I will show the um, uh, the cover or the uh, the uh, what is it called the steel book. It's actually pretty nice. Um, Here's kind of what it looks like. UNSC. Um, story mode of this game. Just a second. Really good. Um, Three Four Industries did a good job doing this. Um, the only thing I'm not, I mean, the only thing I'm disappointed about is Forge. That is one thing that I'm not happy about. It's just the worlds are so small. And I feel like it's because there's no multiplayer, like no local co-op multiplayer in this for this game, um, as there was for the other Halo games like Reach and um, all those other ones. I don't know why this is all rusty already. Hmm, whatever. Um, sorry. Uh, anyways, yeah, that. Um, I don't know. I mean, the Forge and Halo Reach and even Halo 4 in the game before this are really good because the world, the sizes of the worlds are huge. And, um, I also don't like it because you can't find a uh, empty world to, even if you want to try to build something in the small thing, you can't start from scratch. There's always something on every level. But, uh, the online on this game is really good too. It's uh, pretty exciting. My favorite game modes, Infections and, uh, Infection. Slayer, all that's still in the game. Um, the maps are pretty good. The graphics are amazing, I think. A lot of people say they suck. I think they're just fine. Um, it's definitely imp an improvement since I didn't own Halo 4. I owned Halo Reach, so I didn't see how Halo 4's graphics compared to this. I only saw how Halo Reach's graphics compared to this. So, if you look at it that way, Halo 5 definitely, um, definitely has the better graphics than Halo Reach. But uh, Halo Reach does not have that bad. Um, especially if you, if, you're, if it's your first Halo game, uh, it's not a bad one. Um, so that's like my physical games. I'm going to do another video, hopefully of my digital games that are on here. So that's going to be, um, hopefully a thing I do soon. Going to hopefully be able to play Fallout for, uh, tomorrow and the third one. Um, at least the fourth one, I don't know. I hope, but this game looks amazing. Heard good reviews on it too, so. Honestly, all these games, I think this game I, collection I have right now, plus some of the digital ones on here, are really good. So, I'm happy with all the ones that I have. Um, there was another game I could have picked up today, and it was either Fallout 4 or Just Cause 3. Um, I think Fallout 4 is a better, 
uh, a, a better thing of getting at, but um, hopefully I can get uh, Just Cause 3 on the PC as I have key mailer and I've requested for a key, but I'm just kind of waiting to see if I ever get it. And um, I'm probably just going to leave it up for a while. I'm probably not going to cancel anything until at least a couple months. And then if nothing happens, then I'm probably not going to get anything. So that's when I'll be like, yeah, I'm going to stop these because I'm not getting anything. But um, as of right now, it's really early because I just requested these like maybe two or like a week or a week and a couple days or so ago, I think. So, yeah. Hopefully get some PC games on that. Uh, maybe I'll do a PC game so collection video. So, uh, definitely be doing that with a PC camera though, so, yeah. Recording with something like GeForce. Um, yep, yeah, that's all the games that are sitting up there because that's where my game thing kind of is, so. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you could please like, comment, rate, and subscribe down below. And please leave a like. That would be awesome. And hope to get this video up. And hope to get back into videos. Um, every morning I'm going to try to start doing um, Minecraft again. Booting up the tornado. All that stuff all over again. Because I've really been lacking in videos. I need to get started back up again. So that is something I'm going to try to do. Um... Yeah. Peace out, guys. See you in the next one.